We've got a mystery to figure out, yes? Magic from the sky, the firmament. This looks like the journal of that fellow. Hmm, what secrets do you hold? Journal of Wendelius Gartharian. 4th era 200, 18 morning star. I've set up camp inside the barrow. This has to be the place. According to all of my research, the burial chamber should be located here. All I need is some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden here somewhere. 25 morning star. Had a close call today with that fool Wilhelm. He came close to entering the barrow, but I was able to scare him off by rattling some pottery shards inside the bag. These people are far too superstitious for their own good. Gives me an idea. Three days later, 28th Morning Star. After a few failures, I've come up with a mixture that should do the trick. The glow is perfect. I should look exactly like one of the supposed spirits the people of Ivarstead believe is haunting this barrow. Going to test that tomorrow. Next day, 29 Morning Star. Success! It worked better than I could have imagined. All I had to do was wander about the entrance to the barrow at night and wave my arms about. I had to stop myself from laughing aloud as they ran away. This should keep them at bay while I continue searching for the claw. Eleven hearth fire. Almost half a year has passed and no sign of the claw or any clue as to its whereabouts. This is becoming maddening. It has to be here. Can't risk hiring any assistance, so I'll have to continue alone. Twenty suns dusk. It isn't here. It can't be here. This isn't right. It must be the people of Ivarstead. They must be onto my ruse and they're toying with me. They want to find the burial chamber on their own and keep the riches for themselves. Eighteen evening star. Why? Why are they tormenting me? Why not just destroy me? I'm... Who am I? My head is becoming clouded. I can't remember anything. There are sirens running through my mind. <laughs> I have to read my journal to remember my purpose. Am I part of this tomb? Am I meant to guard it? What's becoming of me? Hmm. First era 1050. So I think he's time traveled. Or some such, at least in his mind. They shall not take my treasure. They shall all pay dearly for their crimes. Any who set foot within these walls will taste my wrath, my power. I am the guardian of Shroudheart Barrow. All who oppose me will fall. Interesting. Well, I shall take this journal back to Mr. Wilhelm and see what he would make of it. Well, is that all there is to find here? Just uh, a simple ghost man? Perhaps I should uh, make some alchemy. But first, this magic from the sky has caught my eye as well. Let's have a look. By Irlav Jaru. The ancient eyelids believed that Nern was composed of four basic elements, earth, water, air, and light. And of these four elements, they believed the most sublime form of light was starlight. The stars are our links to the plane of Aetherius the source of all magical power, and therefore light from the stars is the most potent and exalted of all magical powers. From time to time, fragments of Aetherius fall from the heavens. The people know these fragments as shooting stars, and from time to time such ethereal fragments are found on Nern. The most common varieties are known as meteoric iron. This metal is prized by armorers and enchanters for its properties in the forging of enchanted weapons and armors. This meteoric iron is also the primary component at Eyelid Wells, ancient enchanted artifacts found throughout Cyrodiil. Another rarer form of arterial fragment is called meteoric glass. It is from such fragments that other rare eyelid enchanted artifacts are crafted, Welkling stones and Varla stones. We saw many of these in Cyrodiil. Eyelid Wells are scattered across Cyrodiil's landscapes, their sitting is a mystery. They are not associated with any known eyelid cities or settlements. It is presumed that, in some manner, they harvest magical power from starlight. It is also suggested without evidence or support that they are located at the meeting points of ancient lines of magical powers. However, modern arcane arts, 
have discovered no perceptible evidence of such lines of powers. Those with magical talents can draw magicka from ailed wells to restore their own reservoirs of magical power. No ritual or arcane knowledge is necessary, suggesting that these wells were designed to serve persons not skilled in the magical arts. Hmm, and I think I have touched at least one of these wells in Cyrodiil, and indeed touching is all that it took. Once drained, the wells replenish again, only at magical midnight. Once recharged, they appear to radiate magical power back into the sky, which prompts some to theorize that they are also objects with religious or magical ritual significance, perhaps a means of offering magic back to the heavens. Uh, Welkland stones, Aldemir's sky stones, heaven stone, literally sky child, are pieces of cut and enchanted meteoric glass, which apparently acts as a storage device for magical powers. A magical talent can restore his reservoirs of magic from such stones. Alas, the means of restoring power to these stones may have been lost with the eyelids. Currently, these objects simply crumble to dust after they have been used. Great Welkland stones are exceptionally large pieces of enchanted meteoric glass, and scholars believe that at the heart of each ancient eyelid city, a great Welkland stone was the source of the settlement's magical enchantments. It may be that these great stones were linked to the lesser stones, restoring and maintaining their power. In any case, research on these great Welkland stones is impossible, since all the known island ruins have been looted of their great stones, and no examples of these great stones are known to survive. Another rare enchanted item found in island ruins is called the Varla Stone, or Star Stone, in Aldemiris. Varla stones are remarkably powerful, enabling untrained users to restore magical energy to any number of enchanted items. Because of their great value and utility, these items are extremely rare, but since they are small and easily concealed, diligent explorers may still occasionally come across them in any eyelid ruins. Eyelid wells, Welkland stones, Varla stones… Consider then these marvels of magical enchantments. Are we then to conclude that the Eyelids were a superior race and culture? Did they so exceed us in arts and crafts that they mocked the feeble powers of Third Era wizards? Never. The Eyelids were powerful, yes, and cunning, but they were neither good nor wise, and so they were struck down. Their works have been passed from Nern, save those rare and sparkling treasures. Their ancient cities now dark and empty, save for the grim revenants and restless spirits condemned to forever walk the halls, keeping their melancholy vigils over bones and dust. Fascinating. Ah, we did find a few of these stones. Hmm. I wish now that I could have kept them. Most unfortunate. But things always turn out as they are meant to, I suppose. Perhaps we shall stumble into an eyelid ruin and uh, come across some more, yes? Ah, let us see what I can make at the alchemy lab now. Ah, damage magicka potions. Hmm, this restore health, quite useful as well. Restore magicka, hmm, I don't see myself needing so much. Perhaps it would be nice just to make a few, hmm? Ah, I only have enough ingredients for two. Well, no matter. Invisibility is what I really want. Hopefully I can find something to combine with this vampire dust. Ah, although I'm a bit hesitant to ingest it. As I said, I think this suit is having a bit of an effect on me. This armor might hold some ancient curse. Slowly turning me into a vampire. Hmm. I shan't think of such things. I simply can't. Uh, be careful of the water, Brandar. If it is true, and I'm being turned into a vampire, perhaps I can uh, use some of the potion that I used in Cyrodiil. I was taught in Bruma. But then, no. No, it is a different strain of vampirism. If you remember what Mr. Volinaro said. 
Hmm. Is this uh, where the coral claw is meant to go? We should at least try it. Let's see what we have here. Looks like snake, bear, moth. Hmm. Is there snake in this? I see wolf and owl. Yes, there is no snake here. The coral stone. The coral claw is not what I'm meant to use here. It must be somewhere else. Hmm. Perhaps I should exit this place before I end up taking some of these spectral potions myself and insisting that I am a spirit of the tomb. Ah, <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be uh, some sort of comeuppance, hmm? I shall keep it in mind. Perhaps uh, Mr. Wilhelm might have some clue as to what became of that, hmm? We did check that chest. I do feel my mind slipping away just a little bit. Oh my. Please open one. How's that? Very nice. No wonder that poor fellow could not exit. Mr. Wendelius, you played a, a foul trick upon yourself. Became trapped for all eternity by his own greed. Hmm, most unfortunate, yes. Is Mr. Wilhelm still awake? I could not find my way any further into the tomb, but I think that this journal shall be at least of some interest to him, as it was to me, as it was to Mr. Wendelius. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why Hello. bother visiting Iverstead? I think you've asked me that before, sir. And I tell you again, Pardon I am a bard. Me, Would you care to hear oh, me my. play my lute? You are very hard up for want? cash and or attention, hmm? Hello, Mr. Wilhelm. Look at Need what I room? found. Maybe a drink. You name no, it. no, not word. No, no, room, no drink. Uh, look at this journal that I found in the Shroud Hearth Barrel. Shroud Hearth Barrel. Pardon me, I'm so excited my tongue is tangled. Let me see that. I can't believe mm. this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. Indeed. I can't we were so stupid. Well, <laughs> least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. Hmm, thank you so much. Ah, oh, and this, the dragon claw that I have searched for. <laughs> Quite kind of you, yes. So, that Wintelius was right. You were holding the claw from him. <laughs> that is quite funny, I think. Thank you so much, Mr. Wilhelm. I will if be on my way. up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long way down. If you fancy a bit of music, Indeed. let me know. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. What an offer. She's not even tired yet. I think I saw it again. So I was correct. They did hold on to the claw, keeping it from the, uh, Mr. Wendelius. It is light out now, but, uh, perhaps this is a, an even better time to search into the burrow. Maybe we'll find some real spectral creatures down there. Not just a madman playing as a ghost, hmm? Ah. I wonder why this Windelius did not simply ask Mr. Wilhelm. He was so obsessed with scaring the villagers that he did not think to just, uh, be polite. Politeness will take you a long way in this life, as I've come to find. There we are. All the doors open. Fantastically. Ah. A little water in the boots, no problem. We've got a mystery to figure out, yes? <laughs> Sapphire Dragon Claw, at the very bottom of my pack, yes? Hmm, Wasp, Owl, is that a wolf or bear? Some sort of lupine or earth sign. 
definitely not a wasp or owl. Wasp, owl, oh, I've turned this the wrong way. Now one more in the middle. And we are ready to go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Further than Mr. Wendell has got in many, many years. <laughs> oh. It is ancient, friends. What lies beyond? Oh, I feel a tickling in my, in my stomach. In the bottom of my heart. I'm so excited. Ah. But then on top of that sensation is one of a bit of fear. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.